I'm Caitlin and welcome back to the Imperfect Homemaker. Today is the recap of my month-long flats and hand washing challenge. Thanks for tuning in. So I've been doing this for a month from, well, the day I'm filming it, one day short of a month because I'm filming it on Friday the 19th. But I started it on the 20th of June and I will be finishing it on the 20th of June. So how did it go? What did I learn? All that stuff. So it went really, really, really well. So Personal health issues with me have left me pretty tired lately, but even that hasn't been a big deal. The only times I've really struggled is when we've had extended periods of rain, and in that case I've had to use a drying rack inside to make sure everything gets done. The last week and a half or so, we've had actually really hot, dry weather for the most part, which has been perfect. I can dry the diapers outside in an hour and a half. At least dry enough to use. They're not 100% dry, but they're 95% dry at that point. So it's been really wonderful. If you watched my last update video, you will know that some of the information in my hot cloth diaper for $20 stash was slightly inaccurate. Not intentionally. Um, I had planned on making a diaper cover, but I didn't get to it. And I still haven't got to it. So I will finish this challenge with only using the four diaper covers. So it's totally, totally doable with four covers. I want a fifth one, but life has been so crazy lately. I've just been trying to like keep the floor visible in my house and the counters visible and people fed and not miss any incredibly important deadlines. So hopefully that will get made here at some point. I know I've said that already, but at some point either I will make it or stop talking about it. The other big thing to note about my original stash video, besides the fact that I know the focus is off and all that, is that I didn't include my wet bag in there, nor did I include my wipes. I completely forgot about my wet bag because, well, I just did. To me it wasn't like a diapering thing, which is silly. I love my wet bag. The one that I use almost all the time, I think I spent $15 on. And then I have another one that I got for 75 cents, which is actually a Thirsty's brand one that I picked up at the resale shop. So that's my backup wet bag that I will use if my main wet bag is getting washed and is wet when I need to leave. Or sometimes if I know like we are going camping this weekend, so I will take both wet bags with us so that way I am guaranteed to have enough for holding all of the cloth diapers while we're camping. And then for the wipes, what I do is I have the really, really cheap um, washcloths from Dollar Tree or a dollar store. They are my favorite. The, the nice expensive washcloths that you can get that everyone loves to give you right now for baby shower gifts are really nice, but they do not work worth a hoot for cloth diaper wipes. I really love the cheap ones. They're thin, they hold on to any mixture that you put into them, or they work great wet. I've even used them basically dry or had to, in a pinch, like spit on them in order to get them moist because they had dried out in my diaper thing and we were out in the middle of nowhere with no water. I love them. You get them four for a dollar, I think, so 25 cents each. I have also used, I cut up t-shirts into squares. I use those. I've used just your basic washcloth that we just have laying around the house. Basically, if it's soft and fabric and I need to clean a poopy butt and I'm not terribly concerned about it staining, I will use it. As you know from watching my videos, I'm not the most concerned about status quo and making sure that everything is exactly how it should be because I don't have the time, energy, or money to be concerned about that, to be perfectly honest. Mostly the energy, but the other two apply as well. So those things were not included in my stash video, but you could also completely leave those out, just use household things for the wipes. When I wash my wet bag every two to three times I do diaper laundry, depending on how frequently I've been out and used it, Basically, if I open it and it smells, it will get washed. You know, if I was only ran to the grocery store and came back and had one diaper in it for 15 minutes, I don't wash it unless it was a poopy diaper because it doesn't need it. Um, 
But when I do wash it, it takes a little bit longer. My daughter's talking. Really? It takes a little bit longer to dry than some of the other diapers. So it's not always dry. And or when I empty stuff out of it to wash, I don't always remember to put it back in my diaper bag. So I frequently ended up out and about without my wet bag. And I do one of two things. I either just use like a Walmart bag or a Meyer bag or whatever, you know, just your basic plastic bag to do diapers in, which works really well. The only thing you have to be careful of is make sure no one accidentally throws it away because it looks like, it can look like trash, so make sure it stays in your diaper bag. And the other thing is I have netting on the sides of my diaper bag and I realized in mass once that I had forgotten the wet bag. Well, not in mass. I had taken her out to the bathroom to change her and I had nothing. So I just took the wet diaper, it was only a wet one, and I just tucked it into the mesh pocket on the outside and called it good for while we were in church. It worked. It's not ideal, but it worked. So although I realize I forgot to mention those two things in the original video, don't feel like it's a deal breaker. So I've talked about the weather, what, and the mistakes I made in the stash video, and now what am I going to do moving on? So. I'm hoping that she will be potty trained by the end of summer. She'll be just over a year old by the end of summer. Um, so I'm hoping my cloth diapering days for her are fairly limited. But the plan is from here on out to still use flat diapers predominantly. Still use the covers because those are the covers I have that fit her. That's just all I have. It's not a challenge thing. That's just... She outgrew all the rest. Um, and then the only thing that I will change is I'm going to put in some pre-folds. They seem to work a little bit easier for like my parents and my husband's parents when they're changing diapers because sometimes the flats get unfolded and they get a little bit confused, but the pre-folds are pretty easy. You know, you just pad fold it because they are newborn size so they don't fit around her anymore. So pad fold for overnight, stick to the pad fold is on top of each other, close her off. So we will be switching to adding probably five or six of those back into our routine, but I am still hand washing and drying on the line. That's just what I'm doing. I love, love drying on the line. I even do it during the winter. I can even insert a few pictures in this video of the line in the winter, drying stuff on it. Um, one, it gets the stains out so well, and I also love for getting stains out other things that way. But also, people have talked about their diapers getting funky and stinking and smelling musty and all that. I have never had that issue. I didn't have that issue when I was using the dryer, but I've also never used the dryer for an extended stretch of time without any time outside. Um, probably the most I've used exclusively a dryer is a couple months. Because even through the winter, every once in a while, I would dry all of them outside, or at least get them outside for a couple hours. Because I just felt like it killed the bacteria so much better, and it would sun them out. So during the winter, my diapers tend to get a little bit poop stained. She has very pigmented poop. But every couple weeks I take the load out, hang them all up on the line, freeze my fingers off, and the stains would come out and they'd be gorgeous and white, painful to look at in the sun, and it worked great. So for anyone who wants to do flats and hand washing because either A, they enjoy it, or B, this is their option. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. If you are doing this not for a challenge, if this is just your lifestyle, I would not be super concerned about sticking to like the rules of the people that follow the flat and hand washing challenge because you don't have to. Use what works well for you, use what you can get clean well, and make sure you have a large enough stash for how often you wash. I know there's people that could because of their work schedule, I can only wash once a week. So have a lot of diapers. That is perfectly fine. Do not feel bound into this is what you're supposed to do. That's one of the, my regrets about cloth diapering is I felt like this is how normal saying people did it and then there was just these couple people over here who were really weird and they did it a different way. I guess it turns out I'm the one of the weird ones. I do it a bit differently. But don't be concerned about doing it the most popular way. Do what works for you, works within your budget. If you have any specific questions about my experience with this challenge, please ask me in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. 
one more thing. One of the main snappies that we use, we try to only use basically one snappy at a time, just so that way I don't end up losing the whole pack. The bottom tab broke two days ago. So that gives you an idea of how long they can last. That was one of the new ones I've gotten. I still use them with the broken tab. They're way easier to use when the tab isn't broken, but I will use them until I can't anymore because I'm a type one. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Can't wait to talk to you again. Bye.